Oh, thank you guys so much. That was very unexpected. I, um, I'm very excited to be here. I love visiting Canada. I'm going to tell you a story uh, tonight, and it's a true story, and it's crazy. It's like, it's one of those very rare moments in your life where in retrospect, you're like, what the hell? And at the time, you're like, I guess I'll continue living. I don't know. Like, <laughs> seven years ago, I, I started walking in my sleep. I was living with my girlfriend at the time, and I started having a recurring dream that there was a hovering insect-like jackal in our bedroom. Uh, which I, I don't think there are a lot of those in Canada, but they're very common in America. And, and I would see this hovering jackal, and I would jump on our bed, and I would strike a karate pose. I'd never taken karate, but I had the books from Book Fair when I was a kid, and, and I would say, Abby, that was my girlfriend, there's a jackal in the room. And she got so used to it that she could talk me down while remaining asleep. <laughs> well, around this time, I remember thinking, well, this seems dangerous. Maybe I should see a doctor. And then I thought, maybe I'll eat dinner. <laughs> and I went with dinner <laughs> for years. <laughs> so I didn't see a doctor, but I did, I did buy a book. It was called The Promise of Sleep. And I, I learned that there are 78 known sleep disorders, things that range from sleep apnea to night terrors to narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is terrifying because there are people who fall asleep at any time for any reason. There are female narcoleptics who fall asleep the moment they reach orgasm. I was thinking you could call these women men. <laughs> and I read about this thing called REM behavior disorder where people have a dopamine deficiency. That's a chemical that's released from your brain into your body when you fall asleep. It paralyzes your body so you don't do what's in your brain. People have this are commonly running away from some kind of demon or wild animal or jackal. <laughs> and people who have this in rare instances have been known to kill the person they're in bed with while remaining asleep. And I read this and I thought, maybe this is what I have. And I still didn't see a doctor. <laughs> Five years ago, I'm in Walla Walla, Washington, and I'm staying, which is a place, and I'm staying at a hotel called La Quinta Inn. Some people correct me when they say that. They, I go, they go, no, 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 it's La Quinta. I'm like, that's not fair. You can't force me to speak Spanish. <laughs> I didn't press two or whatever. So, <laughs> so I met La Quinta Inn in Walla Walla, Washington, and. And I'm, I'm up late, you know, I, I'm on, my, on the internet, and I'm, I'm eating pizza, and I'm watching the news, and I fall asleep. And I, I have a dream that there is a guided missile headed towards my motel room, and there's all these military personnel in the room with me. I jump out of bed, and I say, what's the plan? <laughs> and they say, it's come to our attention. The missile coordinates are set specifically on you. <laughs> and I say, well, that's very bad. I don't have a plan for that one. So I decided in my dream, and as it turns out, in my life, to jump out my window so as to detonate outside the window for the sake of the platoon. There are two important details. One, I was on the second floor. Two, the window was closed. <laughs> it was January, so I jumped through a window like the Hulk. <laughs> you know how he just kind of, ah, kind of jumps through windows and walls? I have a habit of preemptively shouting when something traumatic is ab about to happen. If someone were going to come up to me and punch me in the face, I would just go, ah, thinking maybe he'd be like, this is weird. I'm out of here. I'm not punching the shouting guy. <laughs> so I jumped through a window, and I screamed, ah, and what was remarkable is I landed on the front lawn, and I took a fall, and I got up, and I kept running. <laughs> and I'm running, 
and I'm slowly realizing I'm on the front lawn of La Quinta Inn in Waya Waya, Washington, in my underwear bleeding. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> but in that moment, I swear to God, I was relieved that I hadn't been hit by the missile. So I drove myself to the hospital. And I had to explain what happened three times. The receptionist, the nurse, the doctor, I'm the Hulk, I'm the Hulk, I'm the Hulk. One of the guys was like, no, you're Bruce Banner. I was like, point taken, nerd. <laughs> and the next morning I flew back to New York and I did what I should have done in the first place when I saw the jackal. I went to a doctor who specializes in sleep disorders and and, and I was diagnosed with REM behavior disorder. And so now when I go to bed at night, I take medication and I sleep, and I'm not making this up, in a sleeping bag up to my neck. And I wear mittens <laughs> so I can't open the sleeping bag. <laughs> so literally, if I had the same dream again, it would just be like, Thank you very much, Montreal. I appreciate it.